study uh, signaling molecules inside the body. Virtually every response in our body is regulated by signals. And if these signals don't work well, then that would easily lead to diseases. So if you can find out what's happening, what's the behavior of the signaling molecules inside the cells, if you can understand what the behaviors are, then you can um, lead to developing disease treatment. So I am studying about the development of neuronal cells in the brain. Especially, I'm interested in the uh, formation of neural circuit at the cellular level. Our uh, result may increase the knowledge of humans that will apply to the uh, therapeutic use in future. So we are sorry to actually establish a membrane lab here. That was quite strange inside the ISOMs because ISOMs were really equipped with biological stuff, but we didn't have anything on membrane. So the aim was that uh, going through the membrane to achieve easy ways for clean water and actually producing renewable energy. So we actually started working items also on gas, which was done previously based on some porous particles, I think in ketogenic sensory groups. But we look in a different way uh, as a membrane separation. So which was more uh, kind of commercialized system and we can use it for more industrial applications rather than particles. We are looking at how uh, the DNA is the modifications change to um, facilitate the repair of DNA damage. So it's important because um, it's important in understanding the um, disease, it's, understa it's important in understanding therapies, um, it has large implications for cancer. We, um, ca cancer cells are often have um, really, I guess, bad ways of repairing their DNA. So if we can understand more about the cancer cell or we can understand more about DNA damage, then we can understand disease and we can hopefully treat it or prevent it. In my research, personally, I think uh, it's trying to connect the dots between nanoengineering and also chemistry and biology, three parts. I come from a background of chemistry, so I personally find it's very important to think outside of the box instead of just thinking through a chemistry pathway. We need to look from another angle, for example, from the biological angle and from the nano nanomaterial angle and try to use chemistry to connect everything. So for me personally the most important in my research is trying to see things in a bigger picture. ISAMS for me is a very special institution where it integrates different kind of uh, studies, different kind of fields. Uh, if, for example, my study is a combination of nanotechnology and chemistry and biology. But I heard a lot of studies that is done in ISAM that could be a combination of physics, computers and biologies. It's in such an environment where everything is integrated together that I think um, the study of science is way different from any other place in this world. Uh, I inspire physics uh, to understand the basis of biology and also apply the obtained knowledge to bioengineering. Uh, I want to make a better world uh, where people uh, doesn't have to go to the hospital. Because our aim is not really just very pure research. Uh, I mean, our strategies use our science to solve some problems. So we look for some applied things. And I think with help of companies, actually, we can uh, easier achieve this kind of thing. So because anyway, they have experience of this kind of commercialization. We can, I mean, decide what we want to do in our research. And of course, we have some students that help me, for example, as a foreigner in my research and making this collaboration, as I mentioned. And I think by means of these two things, kind of independent research and kind of help from some uh, people that are really living here and help us, I think I have a fun research. I come from a kind of field that I used to be in a very, for example, as an example, if I work on a membrane, all of the groups 
kind of related to membrane areas. So I used to be this kind of research group, but now, I mean, if I see isoms, isoms really working wide these days. You can see different areas. You can be familiar a little bit with biology, with chemistry, with physics. So people work on different areas of science. This is really interesting for me because I can get uh, actually a little bit understanding about different area of research as well. It's not really just focused on one area. So for me, this is actually interesting. I believe the all the people, all the researchers, all the young people uh, can contribute very much to the uh, very fundamental science and also the uh, solving very, very important issues in our world.